future, every object on Earth will be generating data, including our homes, our cars, even our bodies. Almost everything we do today leaves a trail of digital exhaust, a perpetual stream of text, location data, and other information that will live on well after each of us is long gone. We are now being exposed to as much information in a single day as our 15th century ancestors were exposed to in their entire lifetime. But we need to be very careful because in this vast ocean of data, there's a frighteningly complete picture of us. Where we live, where we go, what we buy, what we say. It's all being recorded and stored forever. This is the story of an extraordinary revolution that's sweeping almost invisibly through our lives and about how our planet is beginning to develop a nervous system with each of us acting as human sensors. This is the human face of big data. All these devices and machines and everything we're building these days, whether it's phones or computers or cars or refrigerators or throwing off data. Information is being extracted out of toll booths, out of parking spaces, out of internet searches, out of Facebook, out of your phone. Tablets, photographs, videos. Every single thing that you do leaves a digital trace. The exhaust or evidence of, of humans interacting with technology and what side effect that has, and that's literally, it's just this massive amount of data. What we're doing is we're measuring things more than we ever have. It's that active measurement that produces data. If you were some omniscient god, and you could look at the footprints of electric devices, you could kind of see the world. The whole world is being recorded in real time. You can see everything that's going on in the world through the footprints. I think it's a lot like written language, right? It's just, at some point, they got to the point where you had to start writing shit down. You just got to the point where it wouldn't work unless we wrote it down. We're sort of in the same point where, well, it ain't going to work unless we write all the data down and then look at it. And all that data coming in is big data. We estimate that by 2020, uh, the data volumes will be at about 40 zettabytes. Just to put it in perspective, if you were to add up every single grain of sand on the planet and multiply that by 75, that would be 40 zettabytes of information. All of the data processing we did in the last two years is more than all the data processing we did in the last 3,000 years. And so the more information we get, the larger the problems will be that we solve. Every powerful tool has a dark side. Every last one. Anything that's going to change the world, by definition, has to be able to change it for the worse, as much as for the better. It doesn't work one way without the other. When it comes to big data, a lot of people are very nervous. Data can be used in any number of ways that you're either aware of or you're not. The less aware of the use of that data that you are, the less power you have in the coming society we're going to live in. We're sort of just in the beginning of this big data thing. You don't know how it's going to change everything. You just know it is. Thank you.